Yo, what's going on dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys a half cast strategy that works on most maps in Balloon CD6 So the first thing we'll do is we'll start off with two dart monkeys placed like so on round eight We're gonna buy our Sada now when we place down our Sada We want to make sure that she's covering as most of the track as we can possibly get her to cover on round 13 We're gonna buy ourselves a monkey ace and we're gonna place this monkey ace right here Now with the monkey ace the main thing that you want to do with the monkey ace is you want to make sure that the monkey ace is covering as much of the track as we can get it to cover whether that be the figure infinite the figure eight or if you guys have wing monkey the wing monkey might be the best choice especially on some of the harder maps now with this monkey ace regardless of how much monkey knowledge you have you guys will want to make sure that you guys are upgrading this monkey ace all the way up to a 203 and that's the first pathway that you want to go for now i think it's quite obvious that monkey knowledge plays a big part in half cash games so the most important monkey knowledge points that you guys are going to want to invest in is of course going to be a your free dart monkey and then on top of the free dart monkey you guys want to make sure that you guys are going for the extra 200 starting cash and then after you get the 200 starting cash the big balloon sabotage as well as the monkey knowledge that cuts the first military tower that you buy it'll cut its price in half and i'll go ahead and include some screenshots of the monkey knowledge points that you guys will need uh here in the video that way you guys don't have to worry about looking for them too far because again these monkey knowledge points are going to be really really important in making half cash modes especially on the, the more advanced maps a lot easier now with round 28 the only thing we need to do is we need to activate Sada's level three now if you guys don't have uh, the monkey knowledge that will allow you to get Sada's level three it's at such a early round so the next thing you guys can do is you guys can sell one of your dart monkeys in order to buy an alchemist because we'll be needing to buy an alchemist anyways and depending on the map that you guys are playing on you guys may need to sell your free dart monkeys in order to make a little bit of extra space for your other towers now with your alchemist one thing that you guys can do is swap its targeting over to targeting strong that way you guys don't need to worry about lead balloons and of course if a lead balloons ends up slipping through you guys can always go ahead and activate sodas level three in order to deal with it now the biggest downside of this strategy is that you guys are using the alchemist as your primary form of dealing with lead balloons now if this is on a different map that has like mul multiple paths such as bloody puddles or muddy puddles or inferno then you guys will need to swap out your alchemist and swap over to using a sniper monkey and upgrade that sniper monkey up to a 100 in order to deal with the lead balloons on the harder maps but because this is a beginner map the alchemist works perfectly fine now as i was saying the main thing that we need to go for in the early rounds is of course the monkey ace and we want to make sure that we upgrade the monkey ace up to a never miss first then after we buy the monkey ace the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and upgrade our alchemist up to acidic mixture dip because the acidic mixture dip will increase the monkey ace's popping power ever so slightly then after we have the acidic mixture dip we'll go ahead and buy rapid fire and then we'll save up to buy lost board darts as well and as long as everything goes according to plan this is the basic strategy that you guys should have for round 40. so now that we've passed round 40 the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and buy ourselves a monkey village because we want to go ahead and increase the popping power of not only our sauna but also our monkey ace so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and buy ourselves the radar scanner first that way our sauna has another tower that can help it out with the popping camo balloons because right now as we start getting into the harder rounds especially on the harder maps our shot is going to start to struggle a little bit now that we have uh, the radar scanner the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and come over to our alchemist and we want to upgrade this alchemist up to a berserker brew first because yes we could upgrade to a jungle drums but berserker brew is a little bit stronger and it's a little bit cheaper than upgrading the monkey village up to a 220 and then once we have our berserker brew then the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and come back to our monkey village and then we can go ahead and purchase the jungle drums because again the jungle drums is a stable buff that will apply to not only our monkey ace but also our sauna as well as well as the other towers that we're going to buy in the later rounds i see round 48 here's our jungle drums now that we have our jungle drums the next thing we want to do is we want to come back to our alchemist and we want to go ahead and upgrade our alchemist up to a stronger stimulant round 50 here's our stronger stimulant then after we buy our stronger stimulant that's when we're going to go ahead and buy perishing potions as well because we're not going to buy too many towers within the range of our alchemist so now this is going to be the basis of our strategy we have our never miss so we have our stronger stimulant we have our sauna as well as we have the monkey village upgraded to jungle drums as well as radar scanner now we have a couple of different options that we can go for we can either upgrade our monkey village up to a 420 or we can buy ourselves a bomb shooter it's highly dependent on how much popping power you guys need and what map you guys are playing on now my personal favorite way to go is to upgrade the monkey village up to primary mentoring first then after we buy primary mentoring we can go ahead and buy ourselves a bomb sh shooter and then the first upgrade for the bomb shooter is going to be free 
So it's going to save us a little bit of money. Then after we buy the bomb shooter, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and upgrade this bomb shooter up to a recursive cluster because the recursive cluster is going to help us out a lot for round 63 as well as round 78. All right, so round 61, here's our heavy bombs. And again, this is going to be the like main bones of our strategy. So from this point on, it's pretty much dependent on what you guys want to go for. Now, generally, depending on the map that I'm playing on, the next tower that I want to go for is I want to make sure that it has ample Moab popping power because our strategy right now struggles really, really bad against Moab balloons. So a couple of towers that we can use in order to deal with Moab balloons, especially in the later rounds, is we can always go for another Monkey Ace. And we'll go ahead and place this Monkey Ace right on top of our Neva Miss. And then with this Monkey Ace, we'll be upgrading it to the top pathway. That will be, again, have enough popping power in order to deal with Moab balloons. As I was saying, the biggest issue we are going to have with this strategy is, of course, Moab balloons. So in order to counter the Moab balloons, the best tower that we can go ahead and go for is we can go for an Operation Dark Storm because the Operation Dark Storm does an amazing job at dealing with Moab balloons no matter where they are on the map. So having that global range really, really helps out. On top of that, it's actually super cheap as well. Now, another option that we could go for is we could go for like a, a couple of Moab Maulers as well as like a Moab Assassin. But I figured the best option for us, especially on most maps, especially the harder maps, would definitely be the Operation Dart Storm, especially with that global range. I right, surround so 70. Here's our Operation Dart Storm. And then with the Operation Dart Storm, I'm going to go ahead and swap it over to, to uh, Sharper Darts as well as Center Path. That way, the uh, Operation Dart Storm is more centralized on the map. And now that we have uh, the Operation Dart Storm, our Moab popping power is still lacking, especially against a Zero MG. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a second Operation Dart Storm. That way, we have twice the Moab popping power. And then, of course, our Recursive Cluster, our Sada, as well as our Neva Mist, should be more than enough to deal with any of the, the balloons that pop out of the inside of the Moab balloons. Now, as I was saying, this strategy will work on most maps. It will work on all beginner maps. It will work on, I believe, all intermediate maps. And once we start getting up to the advanced and expert maps, that's when this strategy starts to fall off a bit. And you guys will have to come up with your own, like, uh, twists and turns to use with this strategy in order to conquer the really, really hard maps. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this strategy still works against the Dark Castle. Uh, I think the only round that you guys will struggle with on Dark Castle is round 40. And the only thing you guys need to do in order to beat round 40 is activate Sada's level 3 in order to deal with the strength balloons that come out of the Moab balloon. Now, round 78 could give us a little bit of a hard time too. The only thing we need to do on round 78 is activate Sada's level 10 uh, each time these ceramic balloons pop out. And as long as you guys do that, you guys should be perfectly fine. And if you guys are worried about the cooldown of Sada's level 10 for round 78, don't worry because it's not that long. And of course, here we are on round 79. Because we have a little bit of money left over, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit more Moab damage with a bomb shooter. And then we'll go ahead and place it within range of our monkey village. That way we get a little bit of a discount on the tier ones. And of course, the last thing we have to deal with is round 80. Now with round 80, we do have both of Sada's abilities off of cooldown. So as soon as we need to, we'll go ahead and activate Sada's level three and then we'll activate her level 10 to finish off all of these ceramic balloons as well as the other balloons so again this is going to be the half cast strategy that is going to work on most maps in balloons td6 i went ahead and i did a little bit of a different style of a video here and i incorporated a bunch of different different maps using the strategy on a bunch of different different maps that way you guys kind of understand what i'm talking about with this strategy working on a majority of the maps but anyways dude, so that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button also, if you guys aren't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload a daily Blues TV 6 videos, but that's going to do it for the video. I'll see you dudes in the next one.